TT. I know you're very heavy. You're very big on um on live performances, man. You know, so this type of time where it's like concerts and outside basically just close. Like, how have you been able to like cope? Man, I've just been practicing, bro. Yeah, I've just been practicing, hmm. and it's beautiful. Now I, I'm just I'm beginning to see more of my flaws. I've seen you just play the guitar. I've seen you in the studio, like one of those guys that are very expressive, man. And those are your ranges, like your notes, <laughs> you know, from time. <laughs> you know what told me to hit those notes? <laughs> you know what I was saying? So yeah, man, yeah, like we all appreciate you, man. Like we see, we see you doing all these things, man. I'm telling you, man. It's like you're a very special talent, man, bro. Like for real. Like your writing, your creativity. <laughs> Just like your art, yeah, your art, man, like your artistry, like even like your drawings. Well, LOS, um, Bology and Bridge, yeah, the winner. We're in Dancehall, and Briss and I were in Green Springs, and then mm. we heard about LOS, and that was Bridge and um, Zam, mm. um, yeah, and we were just brothers man bonding with jones living out every day going through normal you know the normal ups and downs that we have to go of course through. now we never broke up it was never a breakup yeah went to uni went to dubai for uni we just continue making music but we have to focus on uni and stuff so working from around the world we, of course we recorded we have a lot of songs it was not about releasing songs about mm getting everyone on the same vibrations actually we could we could have released songs whenever yeah. you know whatever but it, it, it was just not we the music is the bond is, is much more important than the music but we're a collective we're a mob man, and we're family we're a tribe zamir has a fantastic projects bridge uh -huh. has a project bridge has a fantastic project I have a couple projects and stuff. We all have, you know, a lot of work and a lot of features and a lot of great yeah. music. What's up, nigga? Fresh on TV. How, Fresh first of all, man, how are you keeping up in these times? Bro, I'm on an exam P. I literally, like, I finished my exam today, so I'm... Are you serious? uni, I swear. Wow, so congrats, man. That's big. What? Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. It's crazy. I'm why why do they call you industry why do we call you industry lsg drb days and then what's drb yeah so planning to be all those hands and then next thing you know it was just like oh you're an industry cat something like that and i'm like what the hell yeah 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 like, what does that even mean? <laughs> and I, I said then this industry piece I, let me fly with this and then i started growing and growing like one day i just begged i was like yo i'm not a cat anymore man i'm a lion and then like that's it. it became industry line. Wow. Like, the, name, the name definitely fits you, man, because thank you, it's always been someone that has been mad active. Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? You were like 13 or even younger, yeah. like backstage yeah. at DRB concerts, like doing things, yeah. running yeah. around, tweeting, <laughs> selling tickets. I'm like, yo, like, you're a machine at this point. Like, <laughs> you guys are calling it Hotel Pool Party. <laughs> Hotel Pool Party, I mean, man, whatever you want to call it, bro. Whatever, bro. man. <laughs> you know, Copa is for who it's for. You get me? Anyone that really the vibe Facts. you know it's not like you know we're not we're not trying to get like a, a certain type of person or whatever you know we have to rebrand the whole thing of course you know? yeah because with us it's a lot more than just an event Facts. You get me? so you know there's so many different angles to it the branding yeah you know the aesthetics the people performing like mm -hmm. everything everything is a, we have to basically rebrand the whole thing but luckily enough for us she yeah. lady told us on time that we're not going to be able to use Tickle Bay because, you know, she didn't have the place anymore. So we had yeah. time to really, like, sit down and we strategize, you yeah. know, develop the right team, get the right aesthetics, get the right creative directors involved. Shout out Josh, by the way. Basically, Higher Vibrations was actually, was actually an Instagram live show, to be honest. Like, when I, mm. when I first created the concept, it was just for um, I wanted to stream live on Instagram live. And I had the first one with um with Tino. Sorry, with Santi and um mm. and Lucy and me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was a vibe and it was just a place to express ourselves, man, just to, to be free and to just just express our talents raw and just put it out there, you know. But I just wanted to create a place that people can come and actually enjoy themselves. 
you know everything's taken care of you just have to get on stage and just express yourself talk to me about street soup so my mom she already does like fashion soup which is like a fashion yep. paper for like the older gen whatever like they're selling their type of clothes so i went to the event once and, I, and like i was just like yo this is crazy and like I yeah know personally that me off the top of my head i had like 20 friends i'm like yo they have brands that i know if i tell them i'm trying to run something like this it'll pop up and i was like i have the space i have the correct backing like why can't i yeah. just get every single brand i know that's popping EPC to come to one place and let's see how it goes with it and that's generally what i did and like the first one ugh, I can't even lie, I was overwhelmed and I couldn't believe of it. Of course. Like, I wasn't expecting that turn up to be like that. Like, So you're a pioneer? Uh, on, on the low. <laughs> you gotta look at it that way, man. When you guys got signed to Storm, just tell us what was happening at that time. Well, that that was a beautiful experience, bro. Of course. It was like, wow, these kind of things can happen. And Fact, then, yeah, yeah, we just continued. Uh, put out the records, Bad Guy P, that did exceptionally well. For sure. You know, like, that's a really big record and um yeah put out a bunch of other songs that i would put out on on fire put out Pamparampe, so that everyone could find their space we just had to terminate um our agreements and um, yeah yeah we continued forward with the remix that's when we had the bad guy yeah. remix the home homegrown what's it called streets where scene is crazy the yeah, homegrown kids crazy. Are, like they're so fresh they're so fire like they're that's out, very they're true creating is on some next level piece so i'm really really trying to tap into that it just can't be like oh because i know your brand is here it's like nah it's exactly like, this is going deeper than that culture in nigeria like this is so yep. much deeper than me so much bigger than like industry line and all that kind of things like i want people to know there's a streetswear culture in night i want people to yeah. think about streetswear and think about you have you seen what they're doing in night top three brands right now and in night p um waffles and cream would always be there man like i love mm -hmm. waffles and cream Shout motherland, waffles, motherland man. would always be there um holy uh motherland and waffles you don't yeah. want to be one of those brands that just does an event you know every time the same event the same concept it gets boring you know you want to try new things Facts. create new elements create new aesthetics you know ginger people essentially create new vibes for people but in lagos man apart from you know nightlife there's really nothing else you know how the internet is and just everyone just drb los yeah it's fun sometimes obviously they're always going to do that but it's like it's never that deep do you know like everything's all good always I, I have my art. I have my art in Bodger Studio. In the studio, yeah, yeah, of course, man. It's fine, like. Nah, Ricky, thanks so much for your time, man. You always thanks dropping for, gems on thank the you, bro. Nah, tell me, man. I appreciate. Yeah, I bro. appreciate this, man. I this a lot, bro. Man, anytime. The Alternative Network.